uh, qualitative and quantitative determination of bile pigments in serum and urine. First, we are going to show how bile pigments, bilirubin, can be determined qualitatively in the sample of serum. We are going to prove the presence or absence of direct and indirect bilirubin. Then, we are going to show the qualitative reactions for determination of uh, urine urobilinogen and urobilin. And finally, we are going to show the procedure for qu quantitative determination of direct bilirubin in serum. Determination of the presence of direct bilirubin in serum is accomplished by performing so-called direct diazo reaction. For this reaction, we need to prepare diazo reagent because only freshly prepared reagent can be used for these so-called van der Berg reactions. For preparation of diazo reagent, we're going to take one test tube and mark it, for example, R as reagent. Then we're going to add 0.3 milliliters or 30 microliters of DSO2 solution and add 10 milliliters of DSO1 solution. Now we are going to take another test tube and mark it for example reaction number one which is going to be direct diazo reaction and we need to pipe it 0.5 milliliters of blood serum or plasma. Then we should add one milliliter of distilled water. and half milliliter of diazo reagent. Mix the test tube. In case of positive reaction, pale pink color should appear. In healthy persons, direct bilirubin is not normally present or it's present in enormously small concentrations which cannot be detected by this qualitative reaction. Qualitative determination of indirect bilirubin in serum is provided by the so-called indirect diazo reaction, which belongs to the group of van der Berg reaction. For this reaction, we are going to take a test tube 
and for example mark it with number two because this is our second reaction. We're going to take the sample of blood serum and we need to pipette 50 microliters of serum sample to the test tube. Now we need to pipette 1 milliliter of ethanol in order to precipitate proteins mix the tube and notice the precipitation of blood serum proteins. Now we need to pipe it the as a reagent, one milliliter of it. Mix the test tube. In the presence of indirect bilirubin, the color in the test tube should be pale pink, but it needs some time to develop. Determination of urobilinogen in sample of urine. For this reaction, we need one test tube and we can mark it as three because this is the third reaction. And we're going to pipe it five milliliters of urine And we need to add a few drops of early reagent. Mix the test tube and in case of positive reaction we should get the very pale reddish color. If it doesn't appear at room temperature we should heat the sample in a boiling water for a couple of minutes. Determination of urobilin in urine is accomplished by so-called Schlesinger reagent. We're going to take the fourth test tube and again we're going to pipette five milliliters of urine And then we should add 5 milliliters of Schlesinger reagent.
The test tube should be kept and stored at room temperature for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we should filter the solution from the test tube number 4 to another test tube by using funnel and filter paper. In case of positive reaction, green fluorescence should appear. But if we are using the fresh urine sample, urobilin is not normally present, so it's hardly that we will be able to notice the green fluorescence right now. But we can make a resume of the previous reactions, so let's start from the beginning. The reaction number one was determination of direct bilirubin serum. The reaction is negative, which is normal for healthy persons since direct bilirubin is not pre normally present in serum or present in extremely small quantities. Reaction number two is determination of indirect bilirubin, which is normally present in each healthy person. And as a result of the positive reaction, the color of the solution turns pale pink. Reaction number three was determination of the presence of urobilinogen in urine and after heating the solution for a couple of minutes, the red color of the solution appears as a positive reaction. And finally, after filtrating process, in case of positive reaction, meaning in case of the presence of urobilin in urine, there should be notice the green fluorescence. In fresh urine, the reaction should be negative. Quantitative determination of total bilirubin is serum is also accomplished by using the previously described Diazo reaction. For this experimental procedure, we should take three test tubes and mark them as T, as test, S, as sample, and B for blank. According to the procedure provided by the commercial kit producer, we should pipette reagent 1, volume 2 milliliters to each test tube. Reagent 1 contains profile buffering system. The next step is to add 200 microliters of serum to the test test tube. Then, 200 microliters of standard solution to the standard test tube. As a standard solution, we are going to use 
Humatrol or standard human serum. According to the procedure provided by the producer, we should measure absorbances at 540 nanometers for the result correction. We're going to take the kivat adjust the wavelength to 540. Add the blank solution and adjust the instrument to zero. We're going to take back the solution because we need pipetting of another reagent. And now we're going to take another kivat and pour the test solution. And measure and read the absorbance. The absorbance thread is going to be the correction of the result. We're going to do the same with the standard test tube. The absorbance thread is the correction of the result. Now we have to add 500 microliters of reagent 2, which is actually the diazo reagent, to each of three test tubes. As described in the previous section for qualitative determination of bile pigments and bilirubin, we should expect the formation of pale pink color upon the completion of diazo reaction. Now we should measure absorbances again. First the blank solution. To the photometer and gently adjust the zero of the instrument. Now the test solution to the photometer and read the absorbance, which is going to be corrected by the previously measured absorbance. And finally, standard solution to the kivat, kivat to the photometer and read the absorbance. According to the equation provided by the manual, calculate the result.